seven years old, Tristan Oldham is the big brother in this rambunctious trio. A couple of years younger is Gareth, bubbly and playful, until he turned two when... You know, he slowly um, stopped playing, and he would sit in the corner all day and chew on his shirt and play with the shadows. Bake me a cake. Gareth was diagnosed with autism. Nine months later, as Cassandra and Bill Oldham struggled to cope with Gareth's condition, they suffered another blow. Their third child, Corlin, is also autistic. I can't even describe it in words, really. Um, just pain, pain, gut-wrenching, more pain. Intensive, one-on-one -on -one behavioral and speech therapy called Applied Behavior Analysis, or ABA, helps the boys. But it costs up to $7,000 a month per child for the recommended 40 hours per week. The Oldham struggled to pay even half the amount. Which child do you choose? You know, we don't have enough money. To, to pay for therapy for both of them. The Oldhams have insurance, but not for autism therapy, because Virginia isn't one of the states that mandate coverage. Businesses say adding autism to the list is too expensive. All of these things lead to, a, again, a cumulative effect that runs the risk of putting the insurance out of, out of uh, reach for the average business person and the average employee. Cassandra Oldham and State Delegate Bob Marshall don't buy it. They're pushing legislation that would force insurers to cover ABA and say the cost of a policy would be minimal, somewhere between two and four dollars a month. There are real children whose lives are going to be destroyed because we are acting indifferent to them. That's not a, that's not a moral response. But in tough economic times, states like Virginia are trying to figure out how to do the most good with fewer resources. I have a lot of fear. Um, when I think about the future, you know, and where my kids will be at. The Oldhams thought about moving to a state where their boys can get all the help they need. Thalia Shuras, CBS News, Leesburg, Virginia.